Thrivecart convert box checkout. In this video, we're going to cover implementing a convert box on a Thrivecart checkout. And the reason I'm suggesting this is we want to save the sale. Believe it or not, not everybody who goes to your checkout page is going to buy. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to implement it based on exit intent on desktop and a delay on mobile. So I've already set it up and this is what it looks like. Upper left hand corner, this is the checkout page on a desktop. If they try and exit, we have a center modal pop-up with an image and a little button that says a two minute tour. And then finally bottom left is if they click the two minute tour, a video pops up. Ironically, that video is longer than two minutes, so I need to fix that. And here's what it's set up to look like on mobile. And again, this is not exit intent. There's going to be a delay here. So on the left is what they show up on. And then this pops up after a certain amount of time. If they click the two minute tour, they get to watch the three minute and 24 second video. So let's dive right in. Inside your Thrivecart account, you need to add some code from ConvertBox. Easy and it's the only thing you need to do here. So I'm gonna go into ConvertBox and I'm gonna to go to here, go to installation and I'm gonna click on add to your own site. Go down here, click on copy to clipboard. So for any product you want this to display on, you need to edit. So I'm going to go into both of these. I've already done this, but I'll show you where I did it. So I'm going to go into this product. I want to go to checkout, go to tracking, scroll down here. And I've already put the code in here in addition to some other code. But just let me show you where it's at, so where it is at. So right there, I just pasted in the convert box code. Click on save and get URL. And that's it for every product you want to do that. And you're going to want to know this URL. So you might want to copy that so that when we go back to convert box, so I've already set this up for desktop and I've named it appropriately. So I'm going to go in and edit and show you what I did. What I'd like to do here is simply show an image of where they came from. So there's some congruency. So this is the website they would have been on that click to get to the Thrivecart checkout. So I just took a screenshot, put it up there, called it good, put my face up here, my name, business, and then added this button right here. And the button, button actions are basically to go to the next step. So I had to create a two-step process in here. Said this button right here goes to the next step. So I basically, I guess I could have done go to next step, but I just want to be very specific. And there's actually only one other step there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save that and close that. And if you look here, I've got another step. That's all it is. And then what I've done here is I've dragged in or pasted in a, a Wistia video, decided to show it show video is full with banner. You know, you can mess around with it to get the look and feel that you want. Basically full size. Well, that's it for customization. Nothing fancy. I'm not collecting any information. No, no commitment needed. Um, now, the next step, mobile, not really concerned about because I'm not using this on. But if I go back to desktop, this is the only customization I did. And then for display, it's if the visitor tries to leave. So that works on desktop, not necessarily on mobile. And then down here, I did this exact URL. And these are the two URLs that I'm my Thrivecart checkout pages are. So those are the two. And I didn't do any exclude pages. And really, I don't want to do this, but I want to show you how it works. I'm set it to, but what I would do is something like a maximum of like two times per day. So I would do something like that, or one or two times per day. I want to be a little intrusive because the likelihood of someone buying, unfortunately, isn't great if you just throw people at it. Um, and then targeting. So the two combinations I need to do are show if the visitor tries to leave, and I'll leave that for now. And if, and I target specific website visitors, and I chose desktop. On the next version, I'm going to choose mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Actually, I've canceled. I've already saved all this stuff. I'm going to exit, exit. Now what I want to do, and this is a nice feature of Thrivecart, guess what? I can clone this. So I'm going to make that active also. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to rename it to mobile. Go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to edit this so it's appropriate for mobile. Now I do want to check to make sure this looks right. And I already showed you screenshots, so I know it's the way I want it to be. 
So I'm going to go to display and this time I'm going to do after a specific amount of time. Um, I'm going to give them 10 seconds. It's up to you how intrusive or how forgiving you want to be. So for instance, if they're on the page and they're showing some hesitation, I'm going to give them 10 seconds. And actually it's going to show up after 10 seconds no matter what. Um, that's really my only options. The scroll uh, percentage doesn't really work because in this case there isn't much to scroll down to. Um, can't do this. Don't want to do this. Um, if they're inactive, that means they're probably gone. So I'm just going to give them a certain amount of time. And then I'm going to change the targeting. So I want to change this from desktop to mobile. And that's it. So now I am finished. Okay, one for mobile and one for desktop. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. This will be exit intent. Now just give it, you know, as soon as I scroll up to, or put my mouse up to the top, there it is, a two minute tour, and then there's the video I want to show. That's how you set up ConvertBox on a Thrivecart checkout.